Hello Lola's. So I'm here with Baby Noah and Baby Noah is the Willow prototype number two by Claire Teller. Um, I am going to answer a question from um, some of my viewers and um, so but before I get into that please make sure that you are subscribed to this video. Oh, I'm sorry not to this video but to this channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad so you'll be the first to know when available when a video comes available and also if you want to support this channel please do so by joining the chatterbox the link is in the description bar below and um it is four dollars and 99 cents to join and you do have to be 18 years old or at least 18 years old anyway so one of the questions that i got was um oh before i get into that the um little outfit that he is wearing um minus the socks and the shoes came from auntie mary it's mary it's mario from instagram and facebook um it is a little romper he had this little romper and a little shirt it's like a little collared shirt but it doesn't um it doesn't have a snap so i like that i like when they have just regular shirts sometime under their stuff um but yeah so anyway that's what he's wearing and then i bought these uh these are baby deer um shoes and i had had these ordered these for him um as soon as i knew he was coming and they are size one and they fit like perfect on his feet um, this foot is a little like you know that it's balled up so there's a little bit room there but this one his his foot is all the way at the end so it's not tight or anything they fit perfect like they're shoes that you can actually leave on him all day but anyway but the question was um, for a new a person that's new new to silicone or buying silicone for the first time um, should they start out with the Ecoflex 20 or, I mean, or a firmer silicone or the, um, yeah, Ecoflex 20 or a firmer silicone versus the new soft silicone? Um, basically, um, a few people wanted to know if the softer silicone is more fragile. So, um, it's definitely always a matter of preference and your comfort le level as an individual let me first say that but in my opinion i um i think both are pretty durable and pretty safe i think a lot of times we hear a lot of negative about silicone and how it tears and people have ribs and they have this and they do that and stuff like that and um it scares you know i can understand because that was the first thing what made me hesitant to buy silicone for many many years into my collecting i was like i'm not going to spend that kind of money on something that i gotta be i'm going to be scared to to handle um and this was you know years back so i understand that um because a lot of people talk about oh with silicone you got to be so careful you got to do this blah, blah, blah. um it is a, a different you know it is, is different from vinyl it is softer you don't want to leave it on shop leave leave it on sharp objects and stuff like that yeah but it's not as fragile as people make it out to be if you handle your dog your dolls like you would a real newborn baby you wouldn't yank a real baby up by one arm you wouldn't not support a real baby you know head so if you handle your babies gently then you shouldn't <laughs> you shouldn't have a problem um with either the soft or the the firm but let me give you my take on it a doll that's more stiff and rigid with the silicone to me leaves more room to tear than a actual or you know or have some type of you know tear it's very you know i'll be honest in all the silicones that i've collected i have not had that issue um I did have somebody damage one of my dolls um, 
at a meetup once and I'm pretty sure it was intentional though but I, I won't get into that but that is one of the things one of the reasons why I'm very picky about people handling my dolls or you know stuff like that especially at meetups and doll shows and stuff like that um but other than that in my collection you know I haven't had those issues knock on wood um but okay let me get back to it. I know I get off track I'm all over the place the a doll that's more firm and more rigid and has not that much flexibility um, when you're moving it and you're trying to do different things, sometimes I feel like you may, you, you can put a little bit more pressure on the silicone. I feel like it's more likely that you would rip or tear that versus, um, a baby that is more flexible. Cause you know, like he pretty much moves with whatever I'm doing. If I lean him forward, he leans forward. If I lean him back, he's going to fall back so he's not going to be out of his you know element for the most part and if i'm changing him and lifting him up because he's soft his silicone kind of is going to flex so it's not you know even with lifting his arm up and you know moving his his limbs they're going to bend easier because they're soft to me they're more stretchy because they're softer um Versus if, if it was stiff and I was trying to pull it and I, you know, maybe pull it a little too hard because it's stiff and I'm trying to really get it where I want it. If that makes sense, it's it's easier to to have an issue to me. Um, but I think starting out, I don't think it's no starter silicone. I think you have to be be gentle with all silicones, soft hard whatever just like you would your reborn because i've seen people damage their reborns um or scratch up their reborns and stuff like that so it's it's definitely all about the collector and how they handle their you know how they handle their their uh their dolls um for me i just handle mine as if they were real babies there's i mean I'm not going to do anything to Noah that I wouldn't do to, you know, a real baby. I'm, I'm, for the most part, you know, there are some things like, you know, the way I might rinse him off might be different, you know, stuff like that. But I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to pick him up crazily um, because I wouldn't do it to a real baby. And and as long as I handle them, fr them like that, they're fine. I'm, you know, sometimes I feel bad for new collectors to, you know, are new being new to, you know, wanting to experience their silicone for the first time or something like that. Because a lot of people will scare the heck out of you. Um, oh my God, you know, you got to worry about the paint coming off. You got to worry about it peeling. You got to worry about it ripping. You got to worry about this. You got to worry about that. And um, so, yeah, so that's, you know, that's the thing. The other thing um, is like um, the jointed neck versus the the, the necks all in one piece. Um, the uh, to me that's that's kind of the same too because with um, with Puck he's jointed and when I lean him back his head still kind of bobbles back or whatever. So I kind of stay in the habit of supporting his head because I know it's not going to fall off. I know it's not, you know, because it's on secure, but I don't want to, I just don't want it to, to fall unnaturally for one. That's, that's number one. And number two, I just, I don't know. I just don't handle my babies that way. So yeah. So I think you're pretty safe, whichever way you choose, whichever one you feel comfortable but if you feel more comfortable dealing with a baby that's a little bit more firmer, you know, just to get the feel of silicone, get used to handling silicone, then then I say, you know, it's it's not a bad idea. Um, it's but it's not necessary if that's what 
you know, if you want something, you want the softer silicone. So, but yeah, um, yep. So that's, that's, that, that's my take on that, this little boy. Oh my gosh. I just love him to pieces. Um, I'm going to go, I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to go make a quick little video for, uh, the chatterbox and I usually do two videos um for those that's in the chatterbox they kind of know this um I'll record since I'm already sitting down I'll record for you guys and then I'll probably go a little bit further in either the subject or a whole nother subject in the chatterbox so I want to do that now so if you guys join or you're already a member you can expect the video a little bit later thanks guys bye bye